have a war on our eastern borders here in Europe. We have civil unrest and protests in various other parts of Europe. The tank represents every, everything that's, that's violent. Uh, it's very masculine, it's cold. It almost immaculately represents supremacy in a, in a really gruesome way. And uh, I like to subvert the idea of that and try to make that in a whole kind of different direction. That's why I chose to make this tank out of uh, materials that are, are very much inviting you in a way to you wanna, that you want to interact with it. Uh, the plush material that I chose reminds you almost of like a plush toy that you would like to play with as a kid. The, the pink color, which is from historical perspective a very feminine, soft color, it just clashes that well with the tank. Doesn't necessarily need a lot of explanation. I don't think I have to have a specific message that I try to tell the people about my works. I think my works try to speak for themselves. I think the imagery that I chose is quite obvious in a way, but it also leaves room for interpretation. So the reason I chose this specific design with the long barrel that is hanging on the ground like the trunk of an elephant is uh, referred to as a, one of my female friends said. It, it reminded her of a floppy willy. And that makes this an intricate part of the design because you know, the barrel of a tank is like really masculine, right? And that just emasculated the piece so much more. And uh, yeah, it, 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 just, it just made the design so much better, I think.